Hey guys, Deborah here. Um, so I just wanted to do this video. It is basically a recap of a video I did on my old channel. And for those of you who've seen that old channel, this will just be a recap. And for anybody new, it's just a really cool revelation that I found um, when seeking the Lord one time. Um, it's a revelation in Strong's, and I've looked into Strong's, like, if it's a reliable source, it's an exhaustive concordance. It was meant for Bible students, but it seems to have a lot of connection with the Lord speaking to us. Like, when, um, like, I, there's so much to do with numbers in the Bible, as we know, and there is a link and connection, and I pray before everything, and I ask you to pray before you, um, you know, believe in anything or anything I say or whatever but this is just really crazy because one day I was taking a nap and I woke up feeling like I had to look up in the strongs only in the Greek these certain numbers that I have seen I kept seeing over and over which was like five 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 four 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 three 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 two 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 one 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 I'd be seeing these numbers over and over I'm like what the heck and it was just in a very strange way so because I kept seeing them, I was praying about it, and I wake up, and I feel like I'm supposed to look up these numbers in Strong's, and they end up making this code, this crazy rapture code. How could I make that up? So let's get into that, the video, um, with regards to what the code actually is. So like I said, it's just a recap for what some people already know, but it's really encouraging. So the first number, 555, in the Strong's Greek was the first thing I looked up, and that um, means a stripping off or a putting off or a casting off. So again, if you don't know much about the Strong's Concordance, it's an exhaustive concordance, basically numbers all the words in the Bible, and it was made from what I've studied to be a um, for Bible students, and so... Um, um, but like the man, I, something strong anyway, he made it. And, um, I was, you know, skeptical of how much I should use it. Nothing replaces the Bible clearly. Um, that's gospel, but I don't know. I was, I woke up feeling I should look up these numbers and strongs and they did result in something. So again, five, 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 that word epic, you know, I'm not even going to try to say any of the words that's not going to happen because <laughs> I'm going to mess them up. Anyway, five, five, five in strongs concordance means a stripping off or a putting off or casting off of oneself. So you can look at where it's found in the Bible, which is Colossians 2.11. And I won't go into every verse, but basically what it means is you're putting off the body. You're um, like putting on Christ. So it's basically talking about, um, you know, your earthly fleshly self. So now on to um, 444. As I said, I was seeing these triple, triplicate numbers over and over. And when I asked the Lord about it, this is what happened. So 444 in Strong's Greek, it means a man or human or mankind, um, just the human race. So once I, what happened was I got all these different numbers and somehow they just made this amazing sentence. So it's crazy. Like, how could I make that up? But anyway, so all separately, they're just words, but I'm just going to break them down separately and then go into what the sentence at the end actually forms, which is like this, this message it feels like from the Lord, but test everything. But yeah, it's pretty crazy. So if you look up where you find 444, it's in a ton of verses. Like, I'll just give you an example, is Matthew 419. It's talking about becoming fishers of men. Matthew 513. Um... So they were trodden underfoot by men. Basically, the point of 444 is it's man and humankind. When you hear the whole sentence, it'll make sense. So now on to um, the next one, 333. So 333 in Greek strongs means um, to observe carefully, to look at, in attentively gaze, consider, and observe very carefully. So again, every word in Strong's has a number attached to it. And that was a way for people to find the number for, you know, Bible scholars to find the, the, the verse they're looking for. It was also a way to look it up in Greek and Hebrew from what I understand. Like, so it was easier to um, figure out what does this word mean in Greek or Hebrew because each, each word had a number attached to it and there was a whole research thing. But anyway, let's just focus on the fact that it basically means to um, look carefully or to observe. And it's found in the Bible in a couple different places, but like for example, Acts 17, 23, it says while passing through and examining the objects of worship. So they're examining. Um, 
and beheld or beholding. Hebrews 13, 7 says, um, of God to you and considering the result. Follow considering the end of God, uh, of God of whom considering the outcome. So you consider, you think about, you ponder on. And um, so that's the, that's 333. So 222 stumped me at first, but it makes total sense now. So when I looked up 222 in Strong's Greek, it means Alexandrian, um, Alexandrian belonging to Alexandria in Egypt. And it'll totally make sense because at first I'm like, well, this whole little endeavor was for nothing. Like I wake up from this nap feeling like, look up in Strong's all the three digits and put them together from five, 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 like five, four, three, two, one. So it's like a countdown. Actually, when I first made this video on my old channel, I put a rocket ship on the thumbnail or whatever. I did like a lot of fancy thumbnails back in that time. This time, not so much, but basically I, it was like a countdown, five, four, three, two, one. I feel it's a countdown to the rapture and the day of the Lord. So anyway, it means the ship of Alexandria. What the heck does that mean? And how does this fit into that? So the ship of Alexandria was, it's found in Acts 27, six, um, where it says they found an Alexandrian ship. Um, so it's about a ship. So now Acts 28, 11, it says we set sail on an Alexandrian ship, a ship of Alexandria, which had wintered. Um, so basically this is when Paul was, I believe he was either leaving Rome or going to Rome. I have the verse and I'll read that, but basically he got on this ship of Alexandria. So at first I thought like, this makes no sense. It has nothing else. Like the, the, the other words could have made the sentence, but this is some random ship, but no Lord just illuminated to me that it makes sense. So I'm going to read the passage where it is found. So let me read um, in Acts. It says, after the three months we sailed in an Alexandrian ship who, who's, Figurehead was the twin brothers, which had wintered at the island. And landing at S Syracuse, we stayed three days. From there, we circled round and reached Regium. I'm not going to read very long. And after one day, the south wind blew. And the next day, we came to Pate Pateoli, where we found brethren and were invited to stay with them seven days. And so we went toward Rome. So they were going towards Rome. And from there, when the brethren heard about us... Um, they came to meet us as far as a pill forum and three inns. When Paul saw them, he thanked God and took courage. So I think the focus for me was this. It said, um, so they were on the ship, the ship of Alexandria, where they found brethren. So they were with a brethren in fellowship and they were invited to stay with them seven days. And that was key to me that they stayed for seven days. And they said, when the brethren heard about them, they came to meet them and and then Paul thanked God and took courage. And he had this like gr good time. He had brethren, people were excited. They were getting together, meeting together for seven days on this ship of Alexandria. And it's like, all of a sudden it just came to me. Just like how, um, you know, in Daniel's 70th week, it's a week. Seven days is really seven years. The week is not a, a literal week. It, the week is really seven years, not seven days. And when it's, it was like symbolic to me, it's like the Lord just showed me, see, the, Paul was fellowshipping for one week, which could be like seven years. It was seven days, literally, but it was symbolic with fellowship with brethren. So that will tie in soon. So that's what the ship of Alexandria said to me. It was seven days, one week. So anyway, next to, that was two to two, now one, one, one is basically means lawless, illegal, unlawful, criminal, and lawless. So... I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. It is lawless. That's what 111 means. And so you can find that in Acts 10, 28. Um, it says how unlawful is, is it is for a man. So it's talking about an unlawful thing. 1 Peter 4, 3, drinking parties and abominable idolatries. Abominable, yeah, drinking parties and abominable idolatries. And it has a couple different other occurrences, but basically it's talking about abomination, unlawfulness, lawlessness. So 111 not only means just lawlessness, but it also means like bad living, idolatry, and abominable parties, abominable things. So here let's put all the words together and make our amazing sentence that woke me up from a nap that I think will encourage you guys. Okay, so let's start with 555. Five, five. So 
I, the sentence came to me this way. 555 is to put off oneself and put on Christ. And we know that is what we are supposed to do. And that is, you know, what's getting us into heaven is being saved by the blood of Jesus. Like when he sees the blood, he doesn't see our sins. So we are to put off oneself and put on Christ. 444. All of mankind. It's like a message it's saying all mankind are to do this. It's calling out and it's saying all mankind, 3-3, listen very carefully. So it's like a, a warning. It's like a, a cry, a plea. It's like preaching the gospel. It's saying, everyone, listen to me. Take off yourself and put on Christ. And the next 2 2, two board the ship for one week and fellowship and joy. What would be the ship? The rapture. I mean, I'm just saying this all just came to me out of nowhere. It just poosh, in my head. So it said 222, the ship of Alexandria made complete sentences, board the ship for one week. Remember, Daniel's 70th week is seven years. It's like through the tribulation. You know, take off yourself, put on Christ. Everyone, listen carefully. Get on the rapture and fellowship with joy. He had brethren and he was fellowshiping like we're going to do for seven years in the wedding. And then 111, lawlessness has arrived. The day of the Lord. Tribulation. So, boom. What can I say? <laughs> That's crazy. That's a sentence that just, what can I really say? Like, it basically speaks for itself. And again, I was taking a nap. I woke up. And this was after, like, I had so many videos that I did talking about me. I'm having these extreme dreams about numbers. Every time I'd wake up, I'd be in like this, I'd be like, sweating, panicking or whatever. So one time I had an earthquake dream vision thing. And then I look at the clock and it was, I think it was four, 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 four in the morning, four, four, four. And then I went downstairs and I started like reading my Bible. And then there was all this stuff about earthquakes. The Lord was showing me so many things. And every time like things would happen, it would be like that he would show me things. So many times it'd be revolving around, like it'd be like one in the morning and an 11, one, 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 or something like that. So I just wanted to put this out there for you guys because I had before and for anybody new to this channel, as I, as I said, I'm just growing it once again. The other channel was going down fast, had two strikes and it was just, there's so many other things. But anyway, let's just start it, start afresh, start anew. And uh, I just wanted to encourage you guys that, that, that God's speaking. And again, you could just research for yourself. Am I even right? Does do the four 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 three 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 like does that even mean that? But look it up in the Greek because that's where I felt to look up, and it made this sentence out of nowhere. So I hope it encouraged you guys, and it was just a reminder. I have some news updates and stuff like that coming up next that I hope to get out today. So stay tuned. Please like, share, subscribe, um, and I'm going to try to make videos at least a couple times every week, if not at least three times a week. That's my hope. <laughs> anyway, so hope you guys enjoyed that. Hope it blessed you. Hope you had a blessed day. And I will talk to you again soon. God bless and shalom.